Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is Mod Wednesday. Well, actually, today it is DLC Wednesday, and uh, I'm going to be highlighting the new uh, Warframe pack uh, from uh, Space Engineers from Keen. Uh, it's the decorative pack number three. So there's a lot of items in there. Pretty interesting uh, stuff, but first off, I know I've been been away for a little bit. Uh, I was traveling and then moving, so I haven't posted anything for the last month. Uh, but I am uh, going to be back on schedule here, and uh, this is the first uh, mod Wednesday. Uh, I'll have a episode on my season two coming up uh, here on Saturday, uh, and they'll be releasing on their normal time frame. And then, uh, just an added note: uh, I have uh, been playing Starfield, and so I'm just going to start doing a, a few things on that. I haven't decided exactly what uh, I'm going to be uh, presenting on that, but uh, probably just some. Uh, uh, tips and tricks and things like that on what I've encountered in Starfield. So look for that uh, hopefully by the following Monday. So anyway, back to the decorative pack three. There is a lot of items in there and we're going to get started over here with the solar panel. Uh, you can see there is uh, three Actually, yeah, three different panels. So let me get over here. Uh, five, four, there we go. So you've got panel one, uh, and these are all colorable. So you can color these panels, and uh, you can probably design them however you would like. Uh, that's, uh, so you've got a, a flat panel, uh, a rectangular panel. You have a left slope, and you have a right slope. So uh, that can uh, give you some more options for setting up your power and for decorative uh, in uh, designing anything. Again, this, this pack does not give you any advantage as far as uh, player uh, uh, you know if you're playing in multiplayer so uh, it's mainly just for decoration and and <coughs> function it does function so like obviously the solar panels are going to give you power uh, you have a wi uh, curved wind generator so let's uh, bring this up this is a twin blade wind turbine and you can see that uh, it is curved uh, kind of a nice uh, uh, design and I think it really adds to being able to set up a uh, power farm uh, when you uh, get into your uh, uh, scenario. The next item, uh, let's go to five, is a round beacon. I got one set over here, and it does the same function as the regular beacon. It's just a different shape, so it kind of gives you a nice new look, which uh, I like. I think it really uh, kind of uh, makes a nice design on there. And I'm pretty sure uh, if we are to hit five, yeah, so you have a large and small grid uh, blocks on all of these. So let's uh, hop on down here and let's uh, so next next on the list is you have a uh, inset cryo room. So you can see uh, you don't have to set this out and uh, if you have your uh, wall set up uh, you can build this right into the wall and so you're saving a block uh, in part of your design. So uh, an inset cryo room. Then you've got a corner uh, med, med bay. And if we get over here, something I forgot to look at on this 
is so your access port is on the back so you have access ports uh, right there and there and I'm assuming then that where one of the problems on the other one was that it was uh, the regular med bay it was not attached so you had a kind of a difficult time in when you set this up you had to kind of connect it and then that was pretty much it so here's where you would uh, charge up and then here's your changing station so uh, yeah uh, a corner medical room and I think it looks pretty cool actually uh, next on the list you have an inset aquarium and you can change the lighting uh, on the aquarium itself I set it up for a for a blue but you could have this as a red or a green or anything in there and you can kind of see the uh, fishy swimming around in there and you've got a side view from over here so if you actually inset this into the wall you necessarily wouldn't see this but if you were using half blocks and you put a half block in there then you would still have visibility to this right here and then you have two different uh, half bed uh, designs here you have one with a closed wall and then you have one that has an open so you can build that up and uh, be able to look out from both sides of the room and let's see something here something I forgot to check yeah you can enter it from uh, either side you uh, also have a uh, uh, a holo LCD now I've got this one set up to rotate a couple of three different uh, uh, options that you have in there and there's more uh, that you can uh, have in there and play around with and uh, so and you can actually access it from right here you can see here's your holo so you can get in here and make your changes now one of the things I didn't quite understand and I'm gonna have to maybe play around with it some more uh, is it has a rotation but I'm not sure what that rotation is for so uh, that's probably something you'll have to kind of sit there and play around with and then here's all your different uh, options that you can post and uh, put on there, different graphs, things like that. Uh, you have an inset LCD panel, which works the same as the regular LCD panels. Uh, you have a corner LCD. Uh, so if you wanted to set your LCD up on a corner, you can uh, do that and instead of uh, taking up more uh, more space it just gives you more options for building out uh, in your uh, base you also have a round or a curved LCD panel uh, and so it's basically like a corner but you can do things like this now I took and built this just real quick and then threw on a, a design pattern on there but this gives you a lot of options so this is an insert panel and then here's your curve panel so I just kind of built a uh, uh, an oval shape uh, display uh, with the uh, text panels uh, one of the features that I like is these scaffolding models that they've included. So you have like this half scaffold. Now there's nine of them. I didn't place them all. I only placed uh, like four of them. So you have your regular scaffolding. Uh, you have uh, uh, half blocks. You have scaffolding that you have catwalks on them. And let's just get over here and... I can kind of run through them real quick. So here's your regular scaffolding. Uh, if we scroll through it, uh, you have a slope scaffolding. Uh, you have a uh, blocked corner. 
that you can and you can walk through all of these or most all of these you have a half uh, scaffold block uh, here's one with a walkable scaffolding block full one so you can set this up and then be able to walk along it uh, here's a corner block uh, an inverted corner block and then uh, the half walkable uh, block and this one looks like an end one uh, and here's one with a ladder and then here's your uh, scaffolding uh, just back to the regular scaffolding block so there's nine of those uh, all part of the function they're all part of the, the DLC All right, and then from here, we go over to, which is kind of a really nice feature here. You've got a uh, cargo crate for storage. You can open this thing up from both sides and get access into your cargo crate. Uh, you've got uh, a 3,000 liter, so it's like a, uh, a regular cargo box. And so you can either, but you can access it from this side uh, which again uh, gives you access to your cargo gear that's inside of it but you get access from both sides which is kind of cool actually uh, a little bit different than the regular uh, cargo bin now the other the other thing is on this and I'm pretty sure that if you look at it it does not have any ports or anything on it so this is a standalone cargo box then we have uh, barrel uh, decorated barrels and let's get uh, over here this is eight so you have I think you have uh, one, two, three, I think you have four, uh, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you have four different models. You have one that has three, three barrels, uh, a single barrel, uh, a stacked barrels, and then you have an exploding barrel. And I'll show you that here in just a minute once we get through the rest of the uh, uh, designs or the rest of the models that was included. So you have an inset couch. Again, you can inset it into the wall and save a space. Uh, you do have, if you have this side open, you have like a terrarium. Uh, you have uh, an insert button panel, which works just like your other button panels so you can set up available buttons on there uh, you have an inset entertainment uh, corner and uh, or you just a uh, inset so you can access it here and I just put on uh, the weather script uh, although I don't have anything set on it so uh, let's just see what this does uh, it doesn't have any tracks available but I suspect that you can load up some uh, tracks and stuff uh, you have an inset book shelf uh, which gives you just a little bit of storage not much kind of like what the lockers do and uh, then we have what's over here oh yeah it's right the inset kitchen so again uh, you can build this right into the wall which will allow you to be a little bit more compact and then last but not least you have a new cab cockpit uh, and uh, which can give you the ability to build uh, more truck like uh, ground rovers you can hop in here just like this and one other thing that uh, has came with the pack you have a weathered uh, or battle uh, armored 
skin. So let's see if I can bring that up here. Uh, it should show here. Where is it? Uh, well, trust me, it's there. Uh, I'm not sure how you would access that. Uh, but uh, that uh, is part of it. Now, for the last, the last item that I wanted to do was show you the exploding barrel and that it does cause damage. Now, I'm not sure if it needs power or not. I shot it a little bit earlier and it took quite a bit. There it goes. And uh, as you can see, it does explode pretty good. I think it works on the same thing as the warheads. So you can actually time it. You can actually use it as uh, a timer. And I think that uh, brings us to an end. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video a lot. And please subscribe. That really helps the channel out a lot. Uh, all right, all you space engineers out there, keep your heads low and don't get shot. And keep building away. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.